Okay, page 71. Product of powers property. Product of powers. So that's one of the rules we're going to learn today. We are still um, dabbling with exponents in this video and in the next video we're just kind of expanding on. So, product of powers property, May 12th maybe, 8EE 1.1. So first, let's just kind of um, see where the rule derives from. Where does it come from? So let's see. Let's say we had 4 to the second times 4 to the third. Okay, so how would you solve that? How would you go about solving that? Okay, so we know that 4 to the second is just 4 to times 4, all right? And then we know that 4, so we're timesing that by 4 to the third, which is just 4 times itself, 3 times. So we have 4 to the second times by, or basically multiplying 4 to the second by 4 to the third, okay? So, I mean, really, instead of writing 4 to the second by 4 to the times 4 to the third, we're just multiplying 4 by itself how many times? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the same as 4 to the fifth. Okay. So why write it out longer when you can just write 4 to the fifth? That's what it means. You're multiplying 4 squared times 4 cubed which is just the same as multiplying four by itself five times. So that's where this rule that we're about to learn comes in. Okay, it's the product of powers property or rule. That's what property means. It's always true. So product of powers, property, rule, whichever. Okay, and what this says this says when multiplying so when you multiply when we're multiplying two powers when multiplying two powers and let's recall from yesterday powers is the whole thing it's the base with the exponent so when you're multiplying two powers, we have 4 to the second, that's one power, times 4 to the third. So when you're multiplying two, honestly, or more powers, what you do, well, the thing is, though, when multiplying two powers with the same base, that is so important, or else this rule is not true. So with the same base. Crucial. Same base. They both have 4 as the base. So when you have the same number as the base and you're multiplying the powers, all you got to do is add the exponents. Just add the exponents. When multiplying two powers with the same base, we're multiplying two powers, 4 squared times 4 cubed, we're multiplying them with the same base. They both have 4 as the base. Just add the exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, pretty straightforward, honestly. Um, so, and if you just want a little example for the rule, so IE just means example. You could put EX. Um, you could put 4 squared times 4 to the third equals, well, they have the same base. You just add the exponents, 2 plus 3. So it's 4 to the fifth. Okay? Let's say you were doing letters. So let's say it was um, a to the m power times a to the n power. So you're multiplying two powers, a to the m, a to the n, multiplying them with the same base. They both have a as the base. That's just a. Then you just add the m and the n. You add the exponents. 
Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, so let's do our examples now. Feeling pink. A. Guys, most days I'm just wearing like leggings and a tank top. I'm actually wearing a dress today. I feel very put together. Um, two. Nope. Yep. Yep. We're going to do it. We're just going to go with it. Okay. Two to the fourth times two to the fifth. So we're multiplying two powers, two to the fourth, two to the fifth. We're multiplying them and they have the same base. They both have a base of two. So all you have to do is add the exponents four plus five. Okay. So it's two to the ninth. We're just going to leave it like that. So that's what we're testing that you know that. Yes, you could do two to the ninth. I know it's 512. That's fine. But we're just practicing. Can you compress this? Can you combine it? Do you know this product of powers, property, or rule? All right. Let's say we have n to the third times n to the seventh. Okay, we're multiplying two powers with the same base, so we add the exponents. Three plus seven, so it's n to the tenth. All right, example C, negative five to the third, but remember that five is being to the third power, not the negative, times negative five to the negative second. Add the exponents. Negative five to the three plus negative two. Okay, three plus a negative two, that's the same as three minus two. So negative five to the first power, which we know is just gonna be negative five. Let's do a little bit harder examples. The rule doesn't change though. You just add the exponents. So let's say we have a times a to the seventh. Well, what's important to know is they have the same base and we're multiplying the two powers. This has an invisible exponent of one. You have to know that it's not zero, it's one. It's a to the first power. There's one a being multiplied by itself. So a to the first, plus seventh, a to the eighth. On some of the con problems, they're gonna have an equal sign. Okay, so it'll be like eight to the seventh equals eight to the third times eight to the x power. All right, we just use the rule to simplify it. So keep the left side the same, eight to the seventh, equals, and this is where we use our rule on the right side. So are we multiplying? Yes. Two powers, eight to the third, eight to the x, yes. Do they have the same base? Yes, both eight. So we just add the exponents. Three plus x. So we're solving for x. What is x? Well, we know that this has to end up equaling eight to the seventh. So how can we make this exponent be to the seventh? Basically, we're thinking we need to make three plus x equals seven. We need to make three plus x equals seven. Three plus what number equals seven? Minus three, minus three, x equals four. Let's see if that works. If x equals four, let's plug it in, let's check. So three plus, we're plugging in four for x. So does eight to the seventh equal eight to the three plus four? Well, three plus four is seven, so eight to the seventh. Yes, it does. So x equals four. Let's try another one like that. F. x to the ninth equals 12 to the second times 12 to the seventh. I guess this one isn't actually exactly like that. I'm, I, I switched the order of my problems. My bad, oh well. 
All right, so left side, x to the ninth, we can't do anything with that. That's just x times itself nine times. But the right side, we can use the product power, product of powers rule. Same base being multiplied, add the exponents. 12 to the second plus seventh. So that's the same as x to the ninth equals, just add them, two plus seven is nine. So what must x equal then? Well, 12, x to the ninth equals 12 to the ninth. So what's the base? It's just 12. If we make x 12, if x equals 12, which it does, then that's saying 12 to the ninth equals 12 to the ninth. All right, last example with this rule. Um, seven to the eighth equals seven to the eighth times seven to the x. Try to do this one. This one's a little bit more challenging. Seven to the eighth equals seven to the eighth times seven to the x. Well, we're gonna use the product power on the right. Try to do this one, guys, on your own. Pause the video and then play it. Same base, so we add the exponents. Well, eight plus x equals so a lot of you guys might just be like, well, x has to be zero. Now, if all the other ones are making sense and this one's a little bit more confusing, that is fine. You're just learning this. Like, don't be discouraged by this one. I'm going to extend it a little bit for um, the students that find this a little bit too easy. So there's a few ways you could solve this one. First off, you're going to learn when you have the same base, so seven on both sides of the equal sign, you literally can just write the exponents and set them equal to each other and just forget about the sevens. So then you have a one-step equation. Minus eight, minus eight, eight minus eight is zero, so x equals zero. That's one way. You could have maybe just seen that. Eight, so then if you check it, let's check it, seven to the eighth, we're gonna plug in zero to the original equals seven to the eighth times seven to the x. So seven to the eighth equals, now let's plug it in, times seven to the zero. Well, using the rule that we just learned, this is gonna prove something. I don't know if you're learning it next week. I think you are, yeah, we're not learning it on the next, yeah, we're not learning it this week. Are you learning it next week or next year? I'm not really sure. But you could check this with product of powers rule. So same base, add the exponents, eight plus zero. So eight plus zero is eight. Good, they equal each other. Another thing, oh, I'm not even down enough. Another thing you're gonna learn, I'm not trying to overwhelm you. So if G is challenging, don't worry about it. Just try to follow along. Another thing when you were checking it, seven to the eighth, I'm gonna bring this step down here equals seven to the eighth times seven to the zero, you're going to learn that anything to the zero power equals one. So technically this is just the same as anything to the zero power, anything to, with an exponent of zero. I wonder if zero power doesn't work then because power is actually like the whole term. So anything with an exponent of zero equals one. So Anything times one is just itself, so seven to the eighth equals seven to the eighth. But don't let G catch you up. Basically, if you get this problem, you just know eight plus zero equals eight, so X has to be zero. What's important? They have the same base, you add the exponents. Same base, and they're being multiplied. Not added, not subtracted, not divided. Being multiplied, product, same base, add the exponents. All right, great. Now we're going to go on to the next rule. These other ones we're not going to spend too much time on. So the next rule is going to be called, and let me just kind of like divide my paper. Okay. So we have um, power of a power. That's our next rule. Power of a power. Power. 
So for this, you multiply the exponents. So when your power has another exponent, just multiply them. For example, for example, let's say we have, so IE just means example. Let's say we have four to the six, so that's our power, we have our exponent and base, and then we're gonna say to the third. Well, would we just add them? Six plus three? Well, no, because they don't have the same base. It's not written, it's not four to the sixth times four to the third. It's four to the sixth all to the third power. Four to the sixth all to the third power. That means it's four to the sixth times four to the sixth times four to the sixth. Because it's four to the sixth times itself three times. Now we're multiplying three powers with the same base. So now we can add the exponent. Six plus six plus six equals six plus six is 12 plus six is 18. So you could just multiply the exponent. Six times three is 18. So when it's not written with the same base, when it's written with the same base and they're being multiplied, add the exponents. When it's written like this, not with the same base, you multiply the exponents. It's a power of a power. So if we had four to the second to the fourth, so they don't have the same base. That's four to the second times itself four times. So what you do is you multiply the exponents. Four to the two times four, which is four to the two times four is uh, eight. And we're just leaving it like that. Yes, you could just do four to the eighth and get 65,536. Just leave it like that. All right, let's say we have a variable though m to the third to the seventh power. So m to the three times seven equals m to the 21st power. What if we have negative nine to the second to the fifth power. Try that one on your own. Negative nine to the second to the fifth power. What are you gonna get? Well, they don't have the same base, so we just multiply the exponents. So negative nine, two times five is 10. Negative nine to the 10th power. Now, some of your problems on Khan Academy are going to be like this, where you just have to leave it 4 to the 8th, m to the 21st, negative 9 to the 10th. Actually, I don't think you have any negatives on this. Maybe you do. I don't think so. Sometimes you're going to have equal signs again, where you have to solve for the variable. Like up here, we solved for x. So these ones, let's just say we're going to solve for m for Nicole, because that's my name, and it's the best name in the whole wide world. So z to the second to the nth. So z, squ uh, z squared to the nth power equals z to the tenth. So what does n equal? Well, z equals two times n. Z, I mean, z to the two times n equals z to the tenth. So we need to make this become z to the 10th. So two times what number equals 10? You might immediately know that n equals five. You might just see that right off the bat. Two times what equals 10? Two times five. Or 
you could do the trick where when they have the same base, get rid of it and just write it two times n, so two times n equals, two times n equals 10. Box the variable, they're being multiplied, so we gotta divide both sides by two. n equals five. Okay, example E and F. E, three cubed to the second power equals n to the sixth. Okay, well, this is a power of a power. So that's three to the, three times two is six equals n to the sixth. Well, three to the sixth equals what to the sixth? Three, obviously. So n is just the base, n is just three because three to the six equals three to the six. All right, the last example we're gonna do with this rule, eight to the n to the third equals eight to the negative 21st power. So try to solve this one on your own. So when they have the same base, you don't even have to, I don't know which way I wanna teach you guys. Basically, power of a power, so this is the same as eight, and then you multiply the exponent, so n times three, or three n, equals eight to the negative 21st. So you might just think three times what equals negative 21. When they have the same base, just don't worry about it. That's the same as three times n equals negative 21. I set the exponents equal to each other. Box it up. They're being multiplied, divide both sides by three. N equals negative seven. Let's check. Eight to the negative seven to the third. Well, negative seven times three is negative 21. So yes. So, so far we've learned product of powers rule. When you're multiplying and they have the same base, add the exponents. Power of power, when you're when you have a power raised to another exponent or power, multiply them. The last one's really quick. You're not gonna have a Khan Academy on this, um, but I still wanna show it to you so you can have some exposure to it. It's power of a product. Power of a product. So this is when you find the power of each factor and multiply. So when you guys hear that definition, that might honestly mean absolutely nothing to you. So I'm gonna show you the example because I learn from examples, not from words. Um, so three times two to the fifth. So it's power, it's exponent of a product. So we're multiplying, raising it to the same thing. Um, so what you do is you find the power of each factor and multiply. So what this means is this is the same as three to the fifth times two to the fifth. Oh, my head just started hurting. Why? Three to the fifth is 243. I'm just trying to see something on my own right now. Times two to the fifth is 32. That's 7,776. What if we just said six to the fifth? See, and I immediately saw this and I was like, okay, this is the same as six to the fifth. And it is, I just checked with the math. Um, but sometimes they're gonna, you, you'll see this down the road. Okay, I'm not gonna get into it because this isn't the point of the lesson. Um, so let's say we had a 
b to the m power. Just know that's exactly the same as a to the m times by b to the m. Okay, so if you have the numbers and you can multiply them, just know it's 6 to the 5th. But you'll see this next year and why it's important to know this rule. Um, so if you had 3xy all to the second, just know that's exactly the same as 3 squared, so 3 to the second, times by x to the second, times by y to the second. Okay, so that's the same as, well, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, so it's the same as 9x squared y squared. So we did 3 squared was 9, x squared, y squared. Um, and then we'll just do one more. a to the third, b to the fourth, all to the fifth. So what's important to know? When it's outside, you have basically two things being multiplied and then raised to a power. Well, this is the same as a to the third to the fifth. So this is the same as a to the third to the fifth power times by b to the fourth to the fifth power. Okay, and then we just use the rule we just learned, power of a power, you multiply the exponent. So this is the same as a to the three times five is 15 times by b to the four times five is 20. All right, one less ex last example to wrap it all up. Um, I'm gonna make this video less than 30 minutes, that's my goal. Actually, my goal was less than 20, but you know, life happens. So, last examples to wrap it up. This would have been our exit slip if we were in class, just so I could see how you guys are doing. So. It would be two different examples. One is going to be fifth, I mean, oh my goodness, five to the 13 times by five to the four. And then the second one is going to be five to the 13 to the four. So I want you to um, use the two rules we just learned and see if you can solve both of these, okay? So the first one is our product of powers. We're multiplying two different powers that have the same base, so we add, okay? So five, you add the exponents. Keep the base, add the exponents. 13 plus four, so five, 13 plus four is 17, five to the 17 power. Now this is using the power of a powers rule. So five to the, well, it's not like we have two things with the same base of five. It's five to the 13th, four times. So you multiply the exponents. You do 13 times four. So 13 times four equals 52, five to the 52nd power. So this literally sums up the two rules you have to take away. This is going to be one of your Khan Academy practices is problems like this. Same base, add the exponents if they're being multiplied. The other one, power of a power, a power that has an exponent. If you have any questions, guys, call, text me, email me. Okay, my number's like posted everywhere. And then we have one more video this week. Bye.